Friends, welcome to my workplace at Rana Ghat, West Bengal, India. This is an intumescent cataract. In fact, the lady has bilateral intumescent cataracts. The patient came today and we have planned surgery on the same day. We have prepared the eye with application of povidone iodine 5% for five minutes before taking the patient to the operation table. The incisions are made and now the anterior capsule is stained with tripan blue dye. This is a bit of adrenaline. The dye is washed out and then the anterior chamber is filled up with 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose. Here it goes. And now I take a cystitome which is a 26 gauge bent needle. I make a small C flap and now I convert this C flap into a small rexis that is a mini rexis. And now through this opening, aspirate some cortex. I use a 23 gauss Simcoe cannula. With a few movements, the nucleus moves and we can remove cortex from all around. When the intralenticular pressure is reduced to optimum level, we inject visco and make a small nick at the margin of the meniraxis in an oblique way, not radial cut, oblique cut. Use the uterite again to convert this small rexis into an optimum size rexis. Dear colleagues, we must learn to use this uterator forceps, particularly in this kind of cataracts, in intumescent cataracts. It is very difficult to manage such cases with 26 case bent needle system. Now we find that the nucleus is quite hard about grade 4 nuclear sclerosis. I am trying to crack the nucleus by my technique Mohantas submarine chop. I am making a tunnel with bevel down because this is a free floating nucleus. Then I use reflux and come out. Now I turn the handpiece, make the bevel off. Now my plan is to go through this tunnel and go like a submarine through the lens mass towards the opposite equator. I stop at the end of the hard part of the nucleus and now I use the chopper to get a nice crack. I rotate 180 degree, sculpt and go deep and then hold on hemineucleus and separate the two hemineuclei completely. And now this hemineucleus is larger. I am planning to divide it into three pieces. This is one piece. And now this big piece is again divided into two more small pieces.
And now, the pieces are emulsified. About the parameters, I am using high vacuum and high uh, ultrasound in continuous mode. Vacuum is 475 millimeter of mercury, ultrasonic energy is 85 percent in continuous mode, uh, flow rate is 47 ml per minute. And now, this is the last piece, um, removing the nucleus and keeping the epinucleus. This is the last piece, um, holding the nucleus and detaching the epinucleus. And I will use this epinucleus as a contact lens to protect the posterior capsule. And then coming back to 400 millimeter of mercury vacuum, I emulsify the last piece, last nu epinuclear piece. Some visco, and now cortical cleanup is done. A small nuclear piece that was near the side port is removed first, then I remove the cortex from all around. Yes, the cortex came easily. Now, the main urn is enlarged little bit and using a B cartridge, a single piece monofocal intraocular lens from Johnson & Johnson is being implanted. The haptics have gone in the capsular bag. Now our job is to clean the visco that we have used for implantation of the intraocular lens. And this visco cleaning has to be very nice. First, I use the Simco cannula and irrigate some fluid in the anterior chamber. And then I go behind the lens and irrigate some PSAs behind the lens that is in the capsular bag. This is a reduction of the amount of visco. This will not clean the visco completely. And now I use the bimanual irrigation aspiration cannuli. Do irrigation and aspiration for some time for removing the rest of the viscoelastic substance. And now, the 
this is a bit of moxie. Then the side ports are closed by stromal hydration. We should hydrate, we should inject fluid on the scleral side of the side port, not the corneal side. Just a precaution not to cause DMD, decimates membrane detachment. And now, this is the final lavage of the anterior chamber and then the anterior chamber is formed nicely. Integrity of all the wounds are checked and the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love, respect, empathy and great surgical competence.